Welcome to the ninth week of the capstone class. We're going to jump right into the assignment summary and then we'll discuss Globus results. First, you should read chapter 9 and review the PowerPoint presentation for chapter 9. For the assignments, you should complete the course participation business ethics discussion board, the chapter 9 smart book assignment, the chapter 12 case, the module 11 report, and the decisions for year 13. And lastly, we have the chapter 9 quiz. Let's go ahead and jump into the globe and see what happened last year. Here we have the year 12 scoreboard. As always, Company D is still ahead of everyone. They're in first place. But if you notice, the way to ever score is 103, which that means they're still number one. But keep in mind, they actually lost a point from year 11. So that's, that's good news for Team C, who actually gained a point. So now there's only a six-point difference, and now keep in mind, this is just a year 12 scoreboard, not the game-to-date scoreboard. But they're closing the gap, though. And then you notice Team A and B, they're battling out for third place, which that was my hope for Team B. They had a, a bad year, but they bounced back. And now they're trying to give Team A a run for their money, which in year 12 they did. They tied them. They Team B gained nine points, and Team A only gained two points. So this is what, what I was hoping with one and two kind of battling out for first place. And then, you know, I don't say Team A and B battling out for third place because you, I guess you never know because Team D or C could drop enough that uh, A or B could uh, bypass them. It just really depends uh, what they try. So, you know, so far I'd just say great job, everyone. And Team D, you know, dropping one point is no big deal. So, obviously, you've been doing tremendous the whole semester, uh, so by no means am I picking on you uh, this week. Uh, everyone's doing great, and keep it up. It's making uh, the semester more exciting. Next, we have the game-to-date scoreboard. Team D is still obviously leading charge of that 108. Team C is at 103. It's five points, Team C. You, you really got to keep on making big moves to try to catch them. Uh, team A, 92, and then Team B is at 89. Keep in mind, Team B, you know, you're getting closer and closer, but you probably have to really continue to be, you know, very aggressive to, to have any hopes of uh, catching them, just like Team C has to be very aggressive to go after Team D. So could, could that backfire at you? Yeah, I mean, you know, you might try something and, you know, didn't turn out, and now you're you're kind of out of trying to be first place or for Team B trying to be third place. But at least you tried, and obviously, you know, the, what you should be attempting is, you know, hopefully there, there's reason, logic, and data behind, you know, what you're trying. Not like, hey, we just, you know, hey, we haven't tried this yet, let's just go for it. Well, that doesn't count then. You know, you, that means you could get luckier, or maybe, maybe you won't. So make sure you have data-driven uh, decisions, and, and just be aggressive, or maybe, you know, you're slowly trying to do that. Well, you know, now you got to pick up the pace if you want to catch a team that's ahead of you. You know, I mean, C if you're trying to catch D, B if you're trying to catch A, and A if you're trying to catch C. You know, I'm not even rolling out. You never know. So A, you would have to be really aggressive. The downside of that is if you mess up, B could easily pass you then. But that's, that's business. That's, you you, you got to be willing to put yourself out there and try. But overall, I, you know, very pleased this week. I, I, I think everyone's doing well. And, um, you know, keep in mind here during the week 10, uh, which is only two weeks away, obviously this is week nine, you will be presenting uh, to me uh, kind of the outcome of, you know, everything throughout the semester. So you, you'll be doing a, the uh, capstone presentation. And just like we did with the initial introductions at the beginning of the semester, I, you know, I want you to talk to your team figure out a day and time that's going to work for you to present. Now, if you say to me, well, I, what am I presenting on? All that will be posted in week 10. You have enough going on this week. It, you wouldn't even have time to start it anyway, even if you, you had access to it. Focus on what you should be accomplishing this week. Next week, you know, make sure your team's communicating with one another. You could easily put the presentation together and, comp and complete what the other assignment, which will be the annual report with no problem. It just, you know, as long as you're communicating and, and, and everyone's doing their part. So, which it seems like everyone's on the right track when it comes to that right about now. So, if there's ever any concerns or questions, you know you can reach out to me and I'll address each and every one of them. So, with that said, 
I hope everyone has a great week. We're almost finished, so keep it up.